Um, I guess it was just a settle into my pace. I had some uh, wattage goals, and I said, if there's guys around me that are going to be, you know, pushing it, and it's going to be around where my wattage goals were, then I'd go with them. And uh, we hit that first turnaround, and then Per Bittner just kind of went for it. I think he saw he might be able to catch the guys up front, and I went way over my wattage goals. And uh, that was just in a bit kind of damage recovery when we caught up, and I had a few, I was at the back, a few slip outs, so I had to sprint back to catch on a few times. And um, But once we were in that group, I was like, you know what, just, just hang in here, you know, you can have a good run and just see what, what happens. Uh, so everybody went out pretty hard. Uh, even myself, I got a bit carried away in hindsight. But uh, I think that's, you know, championship race. You know, we're all coming off the bike together, and I, and you start to have that doubt where you're like, you know, you're like if these guys stick it, I'm gonna get crushed. And you're like thinking, no, just go your pace. You know, like it's all gonna work out. You've done this before, and uh, you know, I had that confidence to to let guys go, knowing that I could bring them back later. I. Uh, it's just like this is cool. I was uh, telling those the other guys that uh, you know you're thinking back to the legacy of this race and how um, Cam Brown and Craig Alexander had that epic battle, and you're kind of thinking like this is kind of like part, could be like part two, and it was. It was uh, you know Tim didn't give me an inch for about you know 10 or 15 kilometers. It was just uh, you know it was really cool, and then we caught caught Niels Fromhold, and uh, yeah, it was just it was just really really cool. Yeah, this would be number two of my highlight list. I uh, second Ironman, I guess, was uh, or challenge was in Penticton, and, uh, and and Maca came out for it. So we had the world champion, and and Penticton's where I grew up since I was four. So it's uh, it was always been the race for me that I wanted to win, and I I crashed about about 60. Oh no, I, not about. I have a Garmin, so I know 60.6 kilometers per hour. I went down. And so I had just blood, road rash everywhere. And I got up and, uh, you know, didn't know if I could run or whatever and won and ended up winning the race. And so to win in your hometown covered in blood doesn't get any cooler than that. So nothing will ever be that, but this is pretty darn close, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. So, but, uh, <laughs> right now, I don't even want to think about racing another Ironman. I, I, <laughs> the thought just turns, well, my stomach's turned pretty good, but but uh, I will be there. I will definitely be there, that's for sure. So, Thank you. My uh, my family's been itching for an excuse to go to Kona. They keep asking me, when are you going to do this Hawaii thing? So, uh, yeah, we'll be there. <laughs>